Good afternoon from Cuyacan, just south of Mexico City. Going on a little wonder. The sun is blazing. You know, it's got my mask on in the street. All throughout Mexico, they're hot on masks everywhere, including in the street. And you know what? Everyone is doing it, which I love. This place is very COVID safe, COVID friendly. So I'm going for a walk. I'm going to Fuente de los Coyotes, the fountain of the coyotes. Apparently it's a pretty nice place to, to go and visit. So have a little wander, catch up along the way. Nearly there. And one of the best things to do when you're in Mexico is just wander, get lost, see what's around. There's loads of stuff. It's cool here. Very cool. Old VW Beetle, loads of them. Now, this is one of the parks. Even in there, there's a statue and they've got a mask on. See if I can show you that. Here we go. Just do a little zoomy zoomy. Can't really see, but he's got a mask on. Very cool. So I made it to the Fountain Coyotes, Fuente de las Coyotes. So a bit of an issue. It's all roped off. You can see this? It's all, it's all roped off. I think it's a COVID thing. But in the background here is the fountain. Normally there's water going off. It looks a lot more spectacular. Um, two coyotes in it fighting. I don't really know what the symbolism is. I think coyotes are wild here, or used to be. Small Charles made it through there. Go on, Charles. Uh, this is Fuente de las Coyotes. And behind me here, another beautiful building. It's kind of a wonder. I didn't realize there was all this stuff around here. Seems to be a lot more stuff behind me. A lot more stuff that way as well. Don't really know. Uh, why I didn't come and see this earlier, but disappointing. I was going to go and sit in the park. This is Fuente de los Coyotes, and it's closed because of COVID. Sat right by a speaker, but pizza, 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 pizza. The uh, fountain closed. Have a little walk around, new part of town, and uh, found this amazing rooftop bar. Um, when in Mexico, what do you do? You order. Tequila based cocktails, or at least one tequila based cocktail, which is a margarita. But this is a uh, margarita cocorita, which chocolate and a capre hijas, which I think is a capre hina, um, kiwi flavor. So, that's what I'd make this about Mexican cocktails. So, try first. Chocolate or kiwi? Chocolate is more of a. Oh, actually, fruit and chocolate are quite dessert based. Let's go fruit first. So, let's go kiwi. So, kiwi capra he has. This is. I don't know. It's got basil, kiwi, water. Fizzy water, that smells. Yeah, it smells like tequila or mezcal. Wow, oh, definitely got tequila in it. It's delicious though. I mean, the fruit here, so fresh. It's got a kick of tequila to it though, but muy bueno. No better 
time to film than when there's some uh, snazzy saxophone in the background. Uh, so that Kiwi, Capri, Kaipiri has, I always got that wrong, Kaipiri has, Kaipiri, no I think, whatever it is, delicious. It's even got like real Kiwi at the bottom, it's all quite thick, stuck in the beard. Shop. The next one, I'm give it a little stir. So this is essentially a chocolate margarita. Oh, just noticed. It's got salt around the edge. You can see that. Nice glass. So, I mean, it's white. You'd have thought chocolate margarita would be brown, but it's got creme de cacao in it. Um, cream of cream of chocolate. Salut. That legit tastes like Kinder Bueno. It's amazing. I thought this, I left this one for second. So I thought this would be the strong tequila one. This is amazing. It, it, it's Kinder Bueno. It's Kinder Bueno in an alcoholic drink in Coyacan, Mexico. ordering what the locals have. Just someone on the table near me ordered this drink, the one that you've just seen. So this is, I can't remember what he said it was called, but basically he said it's cerveza and mezcal. So beer and that mezcal tequila type thing I had in the other video, link. Um, Then you just empty that in there to give you a uh, just a bowl of cocktail. See if I can lift it and sip it at the same time. Give you a little uh, instant reaction. Again, around the edge, it's got the the chili salt crushed grasshopper thing. Oh, and that's inside. This is going to be it's going to be a spicy drink, I think. Wow, this tastes like a, it's like a Long Island iced tea. I think there's like some lemonade or there's something else fizzy in here other than just beer. It's nice. The best thing about Mexico City, especially here in Coyoacan, just have a little walk, have a little walk around. And you get drawn in by the smell of something. Something will draw you in. Let me tell you this, my Spanish is okay and there's not many people here speak good English, but food is the language. So order some food. Let's see what we get. It's gonna be good. I know. But to start with, Dos Equis. You can always order a cerveza. Salud. Poor lighting again, apologies. Quick as a flash. What I've got here is, they told me it's pork and cheese in a couple of tortillas. So it's like a quesadilla. Pork and cheese, and you get the, the little bits of Salsas, the squeeze of lime. I'm gonna zoom in and show you what it's all about. It smells and looks delicious already. Let's have a little look. This is a pork and cheese quesadilla. And this is the best bit. These are the salsas, the fresh limes, bare pineapple on top. This is gonna be delicioso. So let's see what it's all about. Describe to me as pork and cheese. Mm. 
certainly smells good in the little triangles. Let's give a little taste without any salsa yet. Salsa, salsa. Doing some housekeeping as well. So it's got pineapple, pork. Excuse the noise. I don't know which one of these. Which one of these is uh, going to be the spiciest? Seems to be the, the one nearest to me. So it's like a salsa rojo. Gonna put this into the, the quesadilla squeeze the lime put the lid back on and let's see what this is all about then Muy picante. That means very spicy. Delicious. The pineapple makes it. It's the it's the fresh pineapple that they chop in inside. You can see. I'll give you a, a little bit of a. You see the the slice of pineapple in there. Pork, cheese, cilantro, salsa rojo, muy picante. Ah, it's the pineapple that just lifts it to another level. Muy bueno. So I was throwing some green salsa on there. Salsa verde. Who knows how spicy it is. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. And this is from this little selection of spices here, which this is going to be delicious. So this is the bite with the salsa verde, pineapple and pork still, queso. Oh man, I've got a proper Mark Weens there. Delicious. My lighting is so bad here, but this is amazing food. Amazing food. Every day, more and more, I love Mexico. You know when you feel the urge just to order something? In Mexico now for four days, not had a quesadilla properly yet. So it's gone for a proper quesadilla con queso, so a quesadilla with cheese. But this one has come. I mean, melted cheese, cilantro, avocado inside. I'm going to spin you around, let you see what's inside. But this looks unbelievable. It's less than one pound for this. Under a dollar. So here we are. This is the quesadilla. Still got the same selection of sides. This is the quesadilla. Open it up. Oh, man. Look at this. Fresh avocado, cilantro, onion, melty cheese. I'm gonna put in some of this. Which one should we go for? We'll do it. We'll do it live. Let's go for. Let's go for the verde. Let's go for the green. In. You ready for this? Oh my goodness! Look how good that looks. And then the best thing you can do in Mexico 
is squeeze on a bit of fresh lime juice. Ah oh, man, if that doesn't make you hungry, I have no idea what will. Let's fold it back up. Let's eat it. <laughs> Everyone walking past me, watching what I'm doing. You know what? This is going to be great. You saw that salsa verde go in on top of that. So now I'm just going to go over a huge, just a, just a bite. Just the smell. It's hard to say what cheese that smells like, but it smells good. Game over. That is amazing. <laughs> oh man. The cheese has a texture of like almost halloumi but not as hard. My goodness. It's the, the fresh avocado. I know I've said it before on the other videos. And I'm in the right part of the world for the amazing avocado, but my goodness. Avocado in Mexico is unbelievably good. If you've never had it before, book a flight after lockdown, come to Mexico, try some avocado, and you will never look back. Muy bueno. Wow. I'm gonna sign off. Old school yellow Mustang goes past. There it goes. I know I say it every time. And I don't think I can keep saying it every time. But this is the best food I've had in Mexico. But I don't know if I can keep saying that every place I go to. So the common theme is the food in Mexico is unbelievably good. Muy buena. Peace out.